see you later. Hey, guy. Good afternoon. Hi. We can talk for as long as you'd like. Okay. Of course. As long as you know you're paying the full rate for a little talk. No freebies just because you don't have an official appointment. Uh... That's fair. Why don't you tell me what's troubling you? Hmm... Uh, me think of everything a lot of things. What's so unsettling? Eric told me that both Vince... Uh, exactly. Eric told me that both he and Vincent used to know me before I even moved to Fairview. Do you think he's telling the truth? Uh... That. Really? What did he call you? Mary. But what does this have to do with your husband? Do you think he's involved in some sort of vast conspiracy or something? Yes. Would you care to share them? Because this is a stupid sitcom. Send me a package not too long ago, and now it's the contents of my husband's safe inside, the one thing he's desperate to keep me from seeing. In the past, you've voiced certain concerns about your husband. Mm-hmm. Exactly what was inside this package? That. Hmm. A very peculiar combination of items, especially for your husband to keep locked away from you. Do you feel that the contents of this package prove or disprove your suspicion? Prove. Hmm. If I recall correctly, you mentioned that there are three men in your life, no? Uh, that. That's not the kind of thing one can forget easily. Uh... That. Well, that's quite an accusation. Uh, it advice. certainly sounds like you have a situation on your hands. Yep. What are your intentions? What do you plan on doing? Oh, that. I can't tell you what to do. You have to figure that out for yourself. I only get paid to help people reach their own conclusions. But I will tell you this much. Okay. Sooner or later, you're going to find yourself in a position where you have to make a choice between these three men in your life. Uh-huh. Make up your mind now, before it's too late. Or, it will be made up for you. Okay. Well, that's that. I guess so. I'm sure something stupid will happen while I'm doing that, so let's go see what it is. So, if you could keep me posted on how the case progresses, I'd be extremely grateful. Sure, I guess I can, but why uh, are you so I like the detective standing case. between them. Come on. Do I really need a reason? I just like to stay informed. Of course not, Mr. Corsetti. Everybody knows you're a stand-up guy. All right, then. I'll be expecting to hear from you. And if you keep your promise, I just might be able to have a little talk with your chief. See if we can't bump you up from mall duty. <laughs> he, the detective's randomly wandering around the mall, and he just happens to be standing between these two talking like this. That'd be great. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with mall duty. Hey, hey, I understand. You're cut out for better things than this. That's all. It's really funny that you say oh, that, hey. Vincent. Because I like people to get what they deserve, too. Yeah, I guess he was supposed to be standing nearby, but directly between them is a little much. Uh, interrupt! Oh, hey. I didn't even see you. What are you doing here? Uh, that. I don't suppose I can convince you to join us. We were in the middle of a fascinating conversation that I think you'd like to hear. You don't mind, do you, Vincent? As much as I'd love to engage this lovely young woman in conversation, I really have to go. I have some pressing matters to attend to back at the office. The office. Right. Wow, that was strange. Why did he run off like that? Uh, I believe it's his M.O. I, um, okay. Modus, modus operandi. Anyway, is there anything I can do for you? Nope. Alright, goodbye then. Bye. I'm leaving. Eh, like I said, something stupid was gonna happen. Off we go. Garden, what level are you at? You're fine. Okay, you 
haven't leveled up yet. Oh, we'll find them. Just poke at it. Welcome to your garden. Go away. Zap, 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 zap. Stupid weeds. I think I could just force level up my garden by repeatedly replanting stuff. tell if it's going up or not. I do see it going up as I water plants, though. I spent thousands of dollars on this stupid garden today. Hi. Hi, honey. It's me. Hi. So, there's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Well, I wanted to give you the opportunity to explain yourself. Why would I need to do that? Well, for starters, you've been acting awfully strange lately. You won't answer the questions about that safe. Whoa, whoa. Listen, this isn't about me. It's about you. You're looking at my personal files, checking up on my office staff. It's as if suddenly you don't trust me or something. Uh... And then it dawned on me. This wasn't a problem until you started spending time with that friend of yours. That man's always sticking his nose in where it doesn't belong. On top of that, I don't trust him. He's up to something. I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. That's no way to talk about yourself. I wasn't... I wasn't talking about myself. It certainly sounded like you were. Do you really feel that way? Uh... I hate to say it, but yes. I... I didn't know. Listen, if it's really that much of a problem, I can try to finish up and come home a little early tonight. We can sit down and talk over a nice family dinner. How does that sound? Oh, whip of something nice. I should be home by 8.30. See you soon. Expect the unexpected. Expected guest over for dinner at 8.30. It appears to be much needed talk. Make certain preparation dinner, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Dessert crepes. Oh, beef and rice medley. Sounds yummy. Chop green pepper. Chop, chop, chop. Dice onion. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Da 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 Lens flare. Come on, let's go. We add this and this and this. Keep stirring. Go, go, go. Add this. And this and keep stirring. Wow, that tomato really changed the color of this dish. Perfect. Serve. Oh, I guess they're not home yet. Whee. Alright, then I guess I have to just take care of things around the house. Uh, couch and hamper. Alright, go! I guess it'll inform me when it's time to cook. Sit. Ah. Uh. And now we're back to showing pixels. Don't 
forget. Oh, time stopped. I guess it's time to cook. skillet steaks. Um, oh, son of a gun. Let's just do this first. salt and pepper the entire container stir as needed I missed that I needed to heat that stuff over there I should still finish in time Hopefully. Ah, stir faster. There we go. Serve. But it's eight thirty, and I have a. You don't need. Hey, I'm home. Just in time for dinner, right? Yes, I just made dinner. You've really outdone yourself with this meal, honey. It looks kind of weird. It wasn't that much trouble. Well, it's very good. And I wanted to let you know I appreciate it. I don't want you to think I take you for granted. Okay. So, uh, hey, uh, since you guys are busy actually getting along for once, I'm going to head out with some friends for a bit. Don't let me interrupt the flow, though. Okay. See ya. Uh, doesn't bother me either. Why would I have a problem with it? He's a good kid. He knows not to stay out too late. Right? Yeah. Right. Thanks, Dad. Catch you guys later. See ya. The sooner he leaves, the sooner we can talk. I don't know how you got a hold of my safe, but I feel like you deserve an explanation. The woman in the photograph was a former patient of mine, and the journal was what I used to track her progress. She was also suffering memory loss, and that's why you found the documents on amnesia in there as well. Uh -huh. She died under my care, and... I promise to never let myself forget that. Why didn't you tell and me? The sonogram was from when you were pregnant with our son. I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. I guess I'm an old softie. Uh oh. Come on, game. Come on. There we go. You know me. I can be pretty emotionally over-controlled. So I'm sorry I freaked out when you went through my safe. Not that I don't have a right to be angry. Yep. I still believe I was correct in trying to keep you away from Vincent and Eric, though. I don't trust either of those guys one bit. Wonder why. Did you know he had the nerve to come into my office the other day asking about you? There you go. No, it was no coincidence. He was specifically asking about you. That's weird. And as for Vincent Corsetti, don't even get me started. When Eric came into the office, he pretty much said the man has friends in low places. That he's a high-ranking member of the mob. I couldn't believe it, but... Who am I to question an FIB agent? Tell me, is this the kind of person you want to be friends with? At any given moment, you could say the wrong thing to him and get yourself whacked. <laughs> get yourself whacked. Shh. I hope that clears everything up for you. Uh, I guess you could say that. Here he comes. Knock, knock. You should probably answer that. I'll clean up here. 
Alright, whatever. I'm gonna get myself whacked by the FIB. You didn't even eat your dang food. I bet it's gonna be messy when I'm done with this, too. He's not gonna wash the dishes or anything. <gasps> garden level! My garden leveled up! Excellent, I'm glad you're home. I tried to get through to you earlier, but your phone was busy. Uh, now's not the best time. I'm sorry for coming over at a bad time, but what I have to tell you can't wait. Trust me. Okay. Nope, oh, nope, get out of our house! He didn't clean the table. See the food dish right there? Hey, I didn't know what you wanted me to do with the leftover. Oh, it's you. What do you want? I just stopped by to say hello to an old friend of mine. I assume you don't have a problem with that. I'm on to you, Mr. Larson. Are you trying to turn my own family against me? What are you talking about? Uh... There you go. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll get in touch with you another time. Good night. Goodbye. So tell me, what was he really doing here? I don't know. A few minutes ago, I opened myself up to you, and you're already keeping secrets from me. What's with you? I... what? I don't know what the frick he wanted. He didn't get a chance to say. Uh, game? In any relationship, okay, done with one. is inevitable. Whether it be the simple act of more than one person wanting the same thing... Or more complicated needs among friends and neighbors. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Conflict surrounds us He's all. He's not wearing his hat. But when it comes to the severity of consequences, Reading. the battles between a husband and a wife leave them all behind. I don't know why we're fighting so much, honestly. We're... it's like we're missing... Uh, like, several episodes. Like, now it's been months later and we've apparently been fighting, but I don't know why. As far as I could tell, we were getting along just fine. Relationship level still at 100, but... No, we hate each other now, Razzle Fraggle. Whatever, game. Whatever, you do what you want. I'm just along for the stupid ride. Over the years, I've learned the hard way that there are no simple choices in life. Since my departure, things seem to have gotten even more complicated for my friends on Wisteria Lane, as well as my newest neighbor. Indeed, making a choice between the status quo, the chance to live on the edge, or to rekindle a long-lost passion is a difficult and complicated affair. But sometimes, we find ourselves with no other option than to make a choice. What the and we heck? And find the very decision liberating in and of itself. Uh, what? Look who's here. So glad you could finally join us. I'd offer you a seat, but Eric and your husband took the last two chairs. What's going on here? Not much. I was just strolling through the neighborhood, ran into these two. I figured the four of us could have a nice little chat. What is going on here? Yeah, it's just like I said. I was right outside your house when I ran into my old friend here, Eric. We're not friends, Corsetti. We ran into each other and caught up on old times. You see, he's been watching me. But what he didn't know is that I've been watching him too. Today was supposed to be the big revelation, wasn't it, Eric? It still is, but not quite in the way you were hoping. I don't know what you're talking about. I know there everything. people who want you to think of me as a bad guy. Someone who shouldn't be trusted under any circumstances. But they're wrong. They're wrong. You? A bad guy with your frickin' gun and tying up people? Oh, no, I... No, perish the thought. Tonight, you're gonna find out who the men in 